Hello agents and welcome to another daily episode of Target of Loot Today, your daily farming guide for Saturday, February 20th. In this series, I cover a large scope of useful info. So we got the Target of Loot map, Dark Zone exclusives you can farm for, highlights for the weekly vendor resets including Cassie and build and farming suggestions as well. This is Shadow Gaming and if you're new to the channel or enjoyed this video, consider pressing the thumbs up and subscribe buttons below and if not, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Make sure to hit the bell notification icon to never miss a daily morning video and comment below if you have any questions, concerns, or feedback whatsoever, otherwise let's get this video started. Alright agents, so starting off in the dark zones and of course vendor reset highlights which are in that big bottom left overlay right there. I don't really recommend too much this week, um, I've been having some people tell me that their vendors are completely different than mine. But everything listed on that list right there is, you know, I double checked this morning, it's all there. As far as DZ West goes, we got Backpack Targeted Loot, which is great for a lot of reasons, right? So first off, let's start off with the Dark Zone exclusives. So there's four of them, right? First, you got the Gift with Perfect Vigilance, which I highly recommend. Same with the Matador with Perfect Adrenaline Rush, and the Liquid Engineer with Perfect Bloodsucker, and the Devil's Deer with Perfect Clutch. Now I recommend the first three, the Devil's Do, not as much though. And then of course you could still farm for the Memento Backpack as well as the Acosta's Go Bag with one in the hand. I think you might even have a little bit more better of a chance to get the Memento in the Dark Zone. But I don't know that for sure, I just for some reason have this uh, feeling that that might be a little bit easier. Next up in DZ South we got Eligard as targeted loot. Now there's no Dark Zone exclusive, you can farm for the Point Man which comes with Perfect Vanguard which is really good. Same with the Night Watcher with 500% Pulse Haste I believe. But both of those you could also farm in the Light Zone so you could wait or farm the DZ today, it's up to you agents. And then of course we got Tip of the Spear in DZ East, it comes with weapon damage and usually DZ loot is low, the quality is low so I don't really recommend it. Unless it has like a skill tier on it, like a uh, close protocol or a skill gear set. But otherwise, if you are going to farm for this, I recommend running it with the survivalist specialization. And using it for the crossbow to strip off armor on legendaries and raids. Otherwise, let's go check out the north side and invaded missions. Alright agents, north side and invaded missions. So first off, we got Aaron Space Museum. And then of course, Space Administration HQ. Then Jefferson Plaza. And the two strongholds is Capitol Building. And then of course, Tidal Basin as always. Over here at Camp White Oak today, we got chess pieces. So you got two exotic chess pieces in this game. The Tardigrade, which is great for support of all your teammates. And is way better than Perfect Unbreakable. But of course, you could just straight up farm for that one. The Ridgeway's Pride, you are going to have to uh, collect all difficulty exotic components at the summit and then do the, you know, multi-project. And then of course, you could always go to www.shadowgaming.network for exotic guides on how to do that. But otherwise, let's move on next to Walker Harrison Co. So over here at the ballpark, I'd recommend farming for the Chain Killer chest piece with Perfect Headhunter. That's going to deal 150% of your last killing blow. And with that aces and eights build I always tell you guys about, um, you could get about 20 million a headshot with that one and then 50 million with the nemesis. And then of course I never recommend running skill attachments for farming for them, it's not worth it in my opinion. And Richter and Kaiser, there's really nothing that's worth farming for on this one. I mean technically you could farm for the forge holster which of course comes with 50% shield health so that's something that you could farm for if you want to instead of holster targeted loot so that's up to you guys if you're a shield build user. Otherwise Kinley College is closed and the summit you pick your own targeted loot so let's go check out the west and then east sides and then finally New York City. Alright Agents, West Side Target Lou highlights. Starting off with the gear sets, we got Hunter's Fury at Constitutional Hall. Now this is one of my favorite sets and I will give you, you know, in the top title, uh, top title card right now, my favorite Hunter's Fury build. And that of course is four pieces of Hunter's Fury, the Death Grip Gloves and the uh, Memento Backpack. And then of course you run the Dark Winter, the Scorpio, and then the Orbit Pistol with Perfect Finisher. Now this right here is probably my favorite build, you know, I run it with three armor cores, three red cores, and then the Scorpio is great for stun locking enemies, and the Dark Winter shreds them down really fast, or you could use the Apartment, or of course just a regular Vector with, you know, Killer, or, you know, like, uh, maybe Close and Personal on it. 
Otherwise, I recommend this alternative on Hunter's Fury. Um, so this one, I run the same weapons, of course, especially the Orbit with Perfect Finisher. But I run a Silk Love chest with Obliterate and then the Memento Backpack and 4-piece Hunter's Fury. This one does more damage for sure because of Obliterate and the 4-piece from Hunter's Fury does about the same as Obliterate. I, I think a little bit more. So this one, you know, shreds faster, but the other one has a lot more survivability. Next up, we got Hardwired at Tidal Basin. So, of course, Running Butcher has that build where it's four pieces of Hardwired, a China Light chest with either Glass Cannon or Unbreakable. And then you run the Vile Mask with that and the Jammer Pulse and the Firefly. Or you could use the Bulwark Shield to, you know, constantly equip and unequip. Now, that's a really strong build and I recommend it. And if I remember, I'll put it in the pinned comment below a link to his video for that. For normal target Alu, let's start off at the bottom. We got LMGs at the Pentagon. Now, of course, you got two exotics, the Bullet King and the Pestilence. The Bullet King, you never have to reload, but it has a lower base damage. And then, of course, the Pestilence has a six second reload, but the damage tick, you can get over a million per tick on the Pestilence. But that is based completely off weapon damage, so you're going to want to run that on an all red build, so not a status effect build. And then of course there's a bunch of recommended named LMGs in the bottom left overlay. The Black Friday with Perfect Unhinged is a DZ exclusive. The rest of them you can farm for safely in the light zone. Next up we got Bellstone Armory at DARPA Research Labs. Now you can farm for the Everyday Carrier with Perfectly Efficient, which like I always say, comment below if you use that and please tell me what build and why. Like I've never really used it. And then of course the Liquid Engineer Backpack with Perfect Bloodsucker is a Dark Zone exclusive backpack. So you can farm that today in DZ West or if it's Bellstone Armory armory target elude otherwise you cannot farm for it outside of the dark zone aside from named item caches and then next up we got gloves at west atomic park now of course you can farm the btsu data gloves which grants overcharge to you or any ally that's at skill tier six which is extremely useful overcharge is really good and there might be some black tusk areas around here no there's not but still you can still farm for the btsu gloves here and you can also farm for the contractor's gloves with eight percent damage to armor which is great for all you know lmg builds or if you're stacking damage to armor but i recommend farming west end where it says petra defense here that's going to yield better results. And then next up, we got Golong Gear at Roosevelt Island. You could farm for that Anarchist Cookbook with Perfect Wicked. That's going to give you 18% weapon damage for an entire 27 seconds upon applying a status effect. And I will, you know, relay that to you again over in the New York City area where we have ongoing directive where you're going to want that backpack for sure. And then we got Empress over here at Potomac Event Center. I'll make sure to put my turret and drone build in the top right and bottom left overlay. That is three piece Empress, two piece Hanayu in the waveform holster, and kinetic momentum on the chest piece and the force multiplier backpack. I always run that with the capacitor as my primary and then the harmony is my secondary and then whatever pistol you want to use. I usually use the TDI card custom pistol or the one with perfect spike from the technician. And then next up speaking of skill builds and force multiplier at Hani Yu at Bank HQ today you can farm the force multiplier backpack with perfect combined arms that is going to give you 30% skill damage but only for three seconds and that's if you land you know like a hit on an NPC or player so you're constantly Constantly shooting to achieve that 30% skill damage. Now, if you want to work around to that, you can farm for the percussive maintenance with perfect tech support. That's going to grant you 30% skill damage for 30 seconds, but it's on an Alp Summit piece, so you're going to lose that 10% skill haste, which is kind of fine for me. And then, of course, I like to mention Murakami at DCD HQ because Murakami is great for turret and drone builds. A lot of people spec completely in the skill haste. I've made this mistake before as well, but give it a try running, you know, like three piece Empress, one piece Hani Yu, and then like one piece Murakami. Murakami or I run an improvised holster and the memento or the force multiplier percussive maintenance and then of course that's going to make it to where your turret and drone almost never go away especially with my memento build one that one just it, it the turret and drone never go away and that's really all um, my recommendations for the west side you know if you guys need any of these gear sets or sorry brand sets get them otherwise let's move on to the uh, east side Alright agents, east side target loot highlights, this is I guess where all the gear sets are. So let's start with aces and eights at District Union, which is a great headshot gear set. Now I always recommend three piece aces and eights, and then two piece of the holding, one backpack with uh, vigilance or composure, and the chain killer chest piece. And I always run the mantis as my primary, Ekim's long stick with perfect ranger as my secondary, and then of course, you know, a pistol doesn't really matter, and you can get the Ekim's long stick in the DZ East vendor I believe. Next up we got strikers over here. Here at American History Museum. Like I always say, I only recommend three piece striker, never any more. And I don't even really recommend that. That's just for increased rate of fire and weapon handling if you want. 
but uh, like that's like on a merciless build or a LMG with perfect frenzy and I don't even use that you know with the merciless I use braced or weapon handling on uh, my gear pieces and then next up at e small we got rigor gear set now this one's great for instant skill cooldowns when you cancel or destroy a skill and it gives you skill damage on top of that and if you wear the chest piece it increases that buff by I think 10% more and it's definitely the successor to hardwired I definitely definitely recommend picking this up for a turret and drone build or any deployable skills and then next up we got of course negotiators dilemma southwest I will make sure to put my double LMG build in the top right and bottom left overlay that has four pieces of negotiators dilemma and the coyotes mask and then one piece of group of sunbro gloves running the pestilence or the bullet king you could use that with ARs or SMGs or you can run the contractors gloves and run the pestilence or the bullet king and then of course lastly we got future initiative at space administration HQ now remember this is the chest and backpack that they are iron horse raid exclusive so you can only get those at the iron horse raid on normal difficulty but really no worries just get an alp summit chest piece with empathetic resolve and like a murakami backpack with like safeguard on it and that's a great non-raid exclusive healer build now for normal target elude i want to start off at jefferson plaza with alp summit this is where you can farm that percussive maintenance backpack with perfect tech support i think it's worth it you know the 30 uh, 30 skill damage for 30 seconds i recommend you guys give it out you know a try on your skill damage build for your turret and drone and see how you like it compared to the force multiplier backpack and then next up we got ars at air and space so of course you got the eagle bearer which is a dark hours raid exclusive but the two exotic ars you could farm for outside of the dark hours raid is the capacitor with capacitance and the chameleon with adaptive instincts now of course with the capacitor you're gonna have to get uh that from the summit you complete five summit challenges which is really easy and you can do it on any difficulty and then of course you know there's a bunch of named ars that i recommend the bottom left overlay the rail splitter with perfect accurate is a dz exclusive the rest you could farm in the light zone next up we got rifles over here at capitol building stronghold now you got two exotics the merciless and the diamondback now the merciless kicks like a horse so you're gonna need three piece strikers braced on your chest piece or weapon handling on three to six pieces of your gear and the diamondback is actually pretty good it hits really hard in pvp and pve and it also you know has a good agonizing bite but it only has five shots and then of course the named rifles i recommend is the baker's dozen with perfect lucky shot and the surge of perfect spike those are two named rifles you can get in the light zone and then next up we got knee pads over here at judiciary square so you got a couple exotic knee pads in this game sawyers and ninja bike both of which i recommend they're pretty good but they're completely opposite pretty much so with the ninja bike you know it's for like run and gun builds like that hunter's fury build i showed you earlier where you get 25 percent bonus armor and you instantly reload your weapon when you vault or do a cover to cover move and then with sawyers you just sit still and every second you sit still you gain one percent weapon damage up to 30 percent and then as soon as you even flinch it starts dropping down by one percent to zero and then of course you can also farm for the fox's prayer knee pads with eight percent damage targets out of cover which i recommend any agent grab have a pair of for sure but you could farm i believe it's the tombs overlord target of loot today for that i'd recommend farming the brand over the type and then the last one I really see today over on the east side is uh, Mass over here at Grand Washington Hotel. You got two exotics, the Coyotes Mask and the Vile Mask, both of which I definitely recommend. So for the Coyotes Mask, it's great for DPS builds and only one of you needs to be wearing it out of a four-man group to get the effects of the crit hit chance and crit hit damage. And the Vile Mask is also great and if you want to increase the damage to it, just run the Demolitionist Specialization and that will increase the damage of the Concussion Grenade which is, you know, going to increase the damage of the Vile debuff. You can also farm for the Punch Drunk Mask with 20% headshot damage baked into it for all high-end headshot damage builds, but you can farm Douglas and Harding in New York City today for that as well. And that's going to be all my recommendations for the DC area, let's finally check out New York City now. Alright agents, New York City, Target Alu highlights last, so real quick I wanted to show you guys Overlord at the Tombs for those Foxes Prayer and you know the Punch Drunk, Douglas and Harding at Liberty Island if you want to farm those today for sure. Now we got two gear sets over here in New York City. First off, True Patriot Stranded Tanker. I'll put my True Patriot build in the top right and bottom left overlay right now. And that of course is four piece True Patriot, the Memento Backpack, and a Sokolov chest with Intimidate running the Lady Death and the Mop with 10% armor on kill. And that is really good for solo, all the way up to four man groups, legendary strongholds, and summit floors, and all heroic content as well. And if you want, you can even change it up and you can uh, swap that Sokolov chest out for a Fenris chest piece with Intimidate on it and run the Chameleon as an AR instead. 
And then we got ongoing directive at Civic Center. So I got two bleed damage builds I always give you guys. The first one is Ridgeway's Pride, four piece ongoing directive, and that anarchist cookbook with perfect wicked. And then of course the other one you're gonna want to get four piece ongoing directive, a badger tough backpack with creeping death talent on it, and the vile mask. And you usually want to run, at least I do, I run the Carnage with Perfect Sadist and the Scorpio Exotic Shotgun with Septic Shock on it. And speaking of the Scorpio, over at Two Bridges we got Shotgun, so you could farm for the Sweet Dreams and the Scorpio with Septic Shock. The Sandman talent on the Sweet Dreams is kind of good for skill builds or tanks, you can melee one hit kill any red or purple barred enemy and the cooldown's a short 15 seconds. But the Scorpio I believe completely overshadows it, it can you know one shot uh, poisons, two, sh three shots confuses, five is sh uh, shock, and then seven is a 20% damage debuff. And then of course the four other best shotguns in this game is the rock and roll with perfectly extra, and then the mop with 10% armor on kill, the custom inmate 70, and the marine super 90. I always roll close and personal on those, and the rock and roll is a Dark Zone exclusive, keep in mind of that. And then we got MMRs over here at Pathway Park, so you got the Mantis that you could just straight up farm for for the exotics, and then the Nemesis is a quest only, I recommend checking out my website to see the step by step guide on how to get that. And then of course for the recommended MMRs, I would say the Ekim's Longstick with Perfect Ranger and the White Death are two great recommended MMRs I'd recommend. And then next up we got Providence Defense at Battery Park, you can farm the Sacrifice or Perfect Glass Cannon that will amplify all damage by 30% but all incoming damage by 60%. So that is gonna, you know, make you shred like paper but vice versa you shred them like paper. So it's a risk reward scenario but it's great on skill damage builds and DPS builds as well if you enjoy Glass Cannon. And then last but not least we got Holsters of Financial District, you got three exotics, the Waveform which you get at Season 4 level 90, and then the Dodge City and the Imperial dynasty holster the waveform's great for you know that 33 percent uh, skill damage you know it alternates between left and right and then of course dodge cities for pistols and headshot damage builds and then the imperial dynasty is great on my eclipse protocol build which i'll probably put in the pinned comment below it's a great status effect skill damage build and you could also farm the forge here but richter and kaiser would probably be better actually otherwise that's all i recommend for new york city area agents Alright agents, well that was it for your daily farming guide today, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, consider pressing those subscribe, like, and share buttons below, and if not, go ahead and just rate it with a thumbs down. If you'd like to become a member for extra support and exclusive perks, you can click the join button below, and thank you and shout out to all 5 of my channel members, I really appreciate the extra support. And always remember to check the video description and pinned comment below for links to support my channel, my shadow gaming website, shadowgaming.network, you know, which has my merchandise store, the discord, my clan and all plums. I have tons of stuff down there and on my website to check out. But anyway, take care agents and be sure to stay tuned for more daily Division 2 content. This is Agent Shadow signing off. I will see you in the next video. Take care agents and have a wonderful weekend.